Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today I'd like to demonstrate how to create this styled button using CSS. So there might be more of these in future but for now it's going to be styled button number one. So it looks like this. Um, it's a button, if I was to hover over it, it creates this little bar in the bottom which fills up um, as you hover over it. When you click on it, the background turns darker. So let's create this button in this video. Okay, so in the separate tab we have this standard button with no CSS applied. So in the HTML it looks like this. We've got button with a class of button, a type of button and the submit text. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to target the class of button and this is done entirely in CSS, no JavaScript is required. So first let's target the class of button within the CSS. We're going to start by saying border as being none and border radius as once again um, being none or zero because on iOS devices you may need to apply this rule um, just to remove the border radius. Okay. We're also going to set the background as being a light blue. That'll be um, hex code 4284F5. All right. For the padding, we're going to make it uh, shorter on the top and bottom and wider on the left and right. So we'll say padding 14px top and bottom and 20px left and right. Okay. We're going to set a color of just white, a font size of 24px, a bit larger than normal, a font family of Roboto, falling back on sans serif, a text transform of uppercase to make it a little bit more elegant. All right, um, letter spacing of 0.02 em. I've seen this number used quite a bit with letter spacing, so um, we'll see how it goes. For the cursor, it'll be pointer. All right, and for the position, it's going to be relative. I'll explain more later on, but basically, um, the actual bar is going to be positioned absolutely within the button, so this needs to be relative. Okay. Uh, the transition property will be background at 0.25 seconds. This will be when you actually press the button and the background turns darker. Um, this is going to make it fade or you know transition into the next background color. So I can save this and refresh the browser and we get this right here. So just the basics of this button. So now let's create that little bar that fills up when you hover over it. This will be done using um, a CSS pseudo element. Okay, so back inside the HTML, let's use the after pseudo element. So we'll say once again a class of button and put two colons and say after. This will create like a little virtual element similar to a standard HTML element, but it's going to be after the content of the button itself. So I can say, for example, here, if I say content and say decode, so content is um, a special property for um, the pseudo elements. If I say content decode, I can save this and refresh and we can see here after after the button content we have decode. In the inspector, if I expand this, we see here we have the standard submit text and then we have the after pseudo element. And this is clearly shown right here. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to convert this element into a little bar. Okay, and then that will be positioned on the bottom of the button itself. Okay, so back inside here, let's add some styles for this. So the content will need to be an empty string. Okay, down here we're going to say display as being block just for completeness. Okay, and we're going to say here a height of 6px, a width of 100%, and a position of absolute. So in order for this to work, okay, the parent needs to be positioned relative. So I can save this and refresh and we get nothing. Let me just go back inside here and find out why. Okay, that's quite interesting. Ah, um, oh, there it is. We haven't set a background color. So we'll say a background as being red just for now. I can save and refresh and we get this right here. You can see here that the little bar is right there and its width is the total width of the button but it's sort of not placed correctly. So I'm going to go back inside here 
and I'm going to set the left property to zero and the bottom property to zero. So now it's going to be positioned in the bottom left corner and then go from there. So I can save and refresh and we get this. Okay, so it looks quite good, right? Now, what if I was to get rid of the position relative up here? Get rid of this and refresh. And now it's positioned on the bottom of the web page. Okay, so um, this needs to be relative that way. This position is relative to the parent. Okay, so let's set the background color for the bar to be a lighter version of the actual um, background of the button. To do this, we're going to be using um, the RGBA value. So in here, we're going to say RGBA. Okay, this lets you set an alpha value, so an, so an opacity value of an actual color. So we'll say here 255, 255, 255, that's, that's pure white, and set the opacity or the alpha to 0 0.4. So it's going to be white at 40% opacity. So I can save this and refresh, and now we get this. That way, if we change the color of the actual button to, for example, red, I can save this and now the actual uh, progress bar or little bar on the bottom is going to be uh, the same the same uh, color, just a lighter version. Okay, so it makes it a bit more universal and easier to change. All right, if you're using SCSS or less or you know one of those CSS preprocessors, you can of course just use your your lighter version or like a function to actually make it lighter. Okay, so for now it's going to be background as an alpha color. All right. We're also going to set the transition property of this one to be the width. So we want to animate the width at 0 0.15 seconds and ease in and out. Okay, so I can save and refresh and this is our result so far. All right, so let's set um, the bar width to be 0% by default. Okay, so in here, width at 0%. All right, so now, when the button gets hovered over, we want to change the width of this pseudo element. So we're going to say the class of button. On hover, we're going to target the after pseudo class. All right. This will set the width to be 100%. I can save this, refresh, and now we get the desired effect. Hover over it, and we get that right there. Perfect. Okay. One last thing is to simply set the background of the button itself to be darker when it gets pressed on. So we'll say button active. So when it gets pressed on, the background color is going to be a lighter version, sorry, a, a darker version of the blue. So we'll say, okay, that one right there. Okay, copy this, paste it inside the code. Save it and refresh, and now we get the final result. Hover over it, we get the bar, click on it, and it goes darker. And that is how you can make this styled button using CSS. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.